now on Kiwi. The Radio Whammo Breakfast. Talking politics with Phil Goff. Leader of the Labour Party, Phil Goff, this morning. Good morning to you, Phil. Good morning, Whammo. Now, um, I've been away a week and, um, and a lot has gone down. Uh, I get, you know, I... <laughs> that'll, that'll teach you to take a holiday. Yeah, tell you what. Um, tough being at the top there, Phil. Well, t- top of the Labour Party, that is. Oh, look, uh, yeah, that, that goes with the job of leadership. So, uh, um, you know, uh, that's, that's part of my responsibilities. Uh, you get challenges uh, in terms of problems that come up and you deal with them. And we've done that with Chris Carter. Uh, we've made our decision. It's quick. It's been clean. It's been decisive. Uh, and now we're focused uh, uh, on, on what's happening in New Zealand. And I think, you know, you, know, you said you've been away a week. Uh, the employment figures uh, showing that we're going in the wrong direction last week. Uh, the housing figures on the front page of the Herald this morning showing more, you know, forced housing sales than ever before. Uh, people not getting wage increases but facing up to 6% inflation uh, this year. There are lots of issues around and we're focused uh, absolutely on that. We need a plan to deal with it and the government doesn't have one. Well, that's it. I'm depressed. I don't know why I came back. <laughs> it's all well, that bad. I, I don't, look, I'm, I'm not depressed about New Zealand. I, I think we've got a great future as a country, but you, you can't just wait for it and hope that it happens. You've got to do things to make it happen. And at the moment, we're not doing any of the things that we need to have been doing, doing to deal with, for example, unemployment. The Aussies have got their unemployment down to 5.1. Ours has just raced up to 6.8. It doesn't need to be that high, but a job summit that produced no jobs wasn't the answer, hey, and the, there was hey, no hey, plan. Phil, the walkway's underway. <laughs> the walkway, yeah. you know, the one that was going to produce 4,000 jobs and now they say maybe 400. Look, walkways, are, uh, cycleways are, uh, are fine. They've got nothing against them, but they're not the answer to our unemployment problems. And that's, that's the point that Labor's been making. What, what, what would be one thing that, um, that you would do uh, to increase jobs? Uh, first thing is upskilling, because the people that are most likely the unemployed are unskilled. And the areas where we've still got jobs, short, you know, we've got uh, people shortages are in the skilled areas. So you've got to have a plan uh, to get some of those kids, you know, a third of our Maori and Pacifica kids uh, out of work uh, and not in education or training. We need, to give, uh, we need to give those young men and women the skills they need to get into the workforce. That's one. Secondly, uh, you've got to have uh, a smart economy. That's what we've got to work towards. And that means investing in things like research and development. National cut that back rather than expanding it. We've got plans to make our economy a clean tech, smart economy. That's the way of the future. Mm. That's what we need to be focused on. We've also not digging up national parks. We've also got a bit of a um, a bit of a drain going on as well. I don't know if you watched the Sunday program last night, but it was um, it's quite worrying the amount of doctors that are heading over to Australia for better conditions and more money. Uh, and we've and we've got a an almost an immigrant population of doctors here in around about the forty five percent range, rather than our own doctors who are heading overseas. How are we going to stop well, that? Well, that's what's happening across the board. And uh, you know, the government's answer seems to be, well, we'll we'll make uh, wages and working con- conditions worse in New Zealand than in Australia, and that can't be the answer. Uh, you know, you've had the the person that's. Uh, chief executive of the health system in Wellington resigned last week saying he's just not going to cut any more. He's cutting into essential services and the government won't realise that. You put doctors in a system where they feel that they're falling behind, they can't do what needs to be done. Uh, and, and that as much as the, you know, the attraction of higher wages is going to be what uh, starts to make people think, well, I'm going to find the future somewhere else. You can't afford for that to happen. OK, well, all these problems at home make the whole issue over in Afghanistan seem, seem really insignificant to the people of New Zealand. Why don't we pull those troops out of there, pull all the money that we're putting over there and, um, and, and have them back here, um, maybe being productive back here in New Zealand? Well, I, I suppose this week on Afghanistan we're, we're thinking uh, and looking towards the, uh, the funeral of Lieutenant Tim O'Donnell that will take place on, on Wednesday. And uh, I'm, I'm trying studiously to avoid arguing the politics of Afghanistan when we're focused on the loss of life of a young man that died in service of his country. Uh, but if I just in general terms uh, say, say this, uh, we've been now in Afghanistan for nine years. Uh, that's uh, three years longer than the entire period that we had troops overseas in the Second World War. Mm. Uh, New Zealanders understand sacrifice. Uh, we, 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 don't, we, we hate it when something like this happens, but we understand that there are times when you stand up and you have to fight and put your life at risk for your country. But the circumstances in which you do that need to be 
that you feel that the cause is worthwhile and that you have a good prospect of success. So, and if you can't say those two things are happening, then you have to re-examine where you're going for the future. Well, you're talking about the cause. Uh, Wayne Mapp yesterday on uh, TVNZ Q&A said the fundamental reason uh, is international terrorism. This is the reason why we're there. The West as a whole went to Afghanistan because of 9-11. New Zealanders have been killed in 9-11. New Zealanders have been killed in London and in Jakarta and in Bali. So that's why we're there. That's the first time I've actually heard a New Zealand politician say that uh, in, in, such, in those kinds of terms about why we're in Afghanistan. Well, he's half right. That's why we went there in the first instance when the Taliban were hosting al-Qaeda at the time of the attack on the World Trade Center. But what the, even the CIA says now, that you've, you've, you've only got um, uh, you know, a few score of uh, al-Qaeda in, uh, in Afghanistan. Actually, al-Qaeda is today based uh, in Pakistan, and it's based in Yemen and other places that we, we haven't invaded. Uh, the, what, what Wayne Matt doesn't seem to understand is that the nature of the war in Afghanistan has changed. From fighting al-Qaeda in the beginning, you're now fighting uh, local Taliban mm. uh, who are supported by local people uh, who hate the corruption and, and, and have no loyalty and support to the Karzai administration. And that's why I say before, for us to win in Afghanistan, we would have to have a government that was capable of winning the hearts and minds of its own people. Mm. Uh, if it's a corrupt and useless and incompetent government, then you have to say, what is the sacrifice for? It is the modern-day Vietnam, isn't it? Um, it's, it's, it's some equivalent of that. Uh, Vietnam obviously involved the, the, uh, a far greater loss of life, 64,000 Americans killed in Vietnam. But, but in terms of the length, uh, and the long drawn out nature of the conflict and the question of relying on a local administration that can win the hearts and minds of the people, uh, yes, there are clear parallels. Bill Goff, thanks very much for your time this morning. Okay, thanks, Jeremy. Have a good one. See Cheers. You. That is the leader of the Labour Party, Phil Goff. Time now is.